Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Photoshop. I'm using 221, but same 220, 219, etc. And first thing to do, clipping masks. So clipping masks, and I'm going to add a blur effect or Gaussian blur. Works with any other effect as well, perfectly reasonable. However, first thing to do, let's do a quick bit of setup. This is see Brighton, and then I'm just going to do Royal Pavilion in Brighton. I'm going to duplicate this design. So layer and duplicate layer. Click OK. Got two layers now. Obviously layers there, window and layers. With those, I want to convert it into a smart object. Smart object, great. You can change a smart object later on. You can change the effect, etc. So layer and then go down to smart objects and convert to smart object. So it's now a smart object and I've got the background layer. Not going to change that. Now I'm going to, I'm going to add my clipping mask. And for first, I'm going to go for a rectangle. So rectangle makes sense. It's a shape up here. So you've got a shape and you can just put it anywhere. Don't have to have it obviously in the center. Just put it in the center for, because that's where I put it. So layers and you can see now thing. What you now need to do is drag that rectangle down. Just drag it down and put it just below that smart object. So with that there, you can see now the rectangle there. Just go back to the background copy and go to a layer and go down to clipping mask. Create clipping mask. That's the key thing. So create clipping mask. Now nothing looks changed because I haven't added a blur or anything. So just quickly go to filter and with that one selected, that's the key thing. Filter and go down to blur and Gaussian blur. And now you can see your blur. So you've got your Gaussian blur there. And of course, what you can now do is you've got your rectangle, so you can select that. Now, if you go to this rectangle and you think, you know what, I can move it. it doesn't, it moves the, uh, <laughs> that moves. Slightly frustrating. However, work around, quickly select that. I was fine, just make certain it's just up here. So you're in transformation, then you can move it around and you can resize it. So you can select that and press return. And you've got your there. Now what you can also do, again select that, again resize, and you can tweak it even more. So you've got that there, you can re change that, the rounding. So of course if you're using different shapes you will have different options to it. And also you can use of course your pen tool, curvature tool to create paths, a whole range of different designs. It doesn't have to be a rectangle. And again resize it, and move it around and reposition it. And also what you can do, you can add maybe a blur. Blur and obviously a layer style. So I'm just going to go quickly go down here, bevel and boss. Let's just go for bevel and boss. So you get a nice bevel and boss effect there, as well as a drop shadow. So you've got your drop shadow and the blur as well. And then press it. Of course you can tweak the layer style in numerous ways. And again, you can still modify that. So again, click there and resize it, move it around. Change things like that. There. What you can also do is you can go over here, maybe use to the direct selection tool, select that, and you can select the points. So if you decide, you know what, I don't want it to be a rectangle, I can change it and maybe blur that part. I'm just obviously randomly just changing things. And you've got this design then like that. And again, you can resize it. And while you're doing that, you can move it around like that. And so on and so on. Now, what you can also do, and I'm just going to remove, you can actually, before I do anything else, you can make a copy of that. So select that one and the actual, obviously it's now not a rectangle. It says rectangle, but it's not. I've selected the smart object, see the filter effect as well as this rectangle. What you can do is go to a layer and then you can group them, so group layers. So it's now a group and you can see the design there. Well, you can duplicate that group. So layer and you can go down to duplicate group. Always have to check it. I use so many different applications. Sometimes I end up looking, where's the duplicate group? Sometimes it's not even in those menus in some applications. And again, if you want, you can always select that rectangle resize it, just quickly resize it, and then you can move it around, and you can just see, obviously you can maybe create different shapes, you can rotate it, and you can resize it, and so on and so on. 
and you'd get different parts of the image blurred like that. So let's just go revert back to there. Let's go back, revert. Now, what you can do, you can use other shapes as well. I've been using rectangles, but you can use other shapes. So you've got this design again, layer. Unfortunately, it's gone all the way back. So layer and duplicate layer. Again, turn that into a smart object. So a layer and smart objects, convert to smart object. So it's a smart object. You've got two layers. You've got the original one, not touching the original one. Now you can if you want to, of course. You know, let's just add some effects. So you can modify that one. So let's just turn it black and white. Of course, you can't see it because it's behind the other one or below, I should say. So just black and white. Now, at some point, you will be able to see this effect. So you've got this background layer. Select that again. And now I'm not going to use that one. I'm just going to use maybe ellipse. And again, key thing, shape. Doesn't matter about the color and all that sort of stuff. Just going to add a shape, another shape there. And what you can also do, you can add other shapes. So I'm just going to quickly add another one. Hold down the shift key so you get, to, so you can see there, it's all added together. And you can add multiple. Let's just quickly add some more there. Just a lot of dots. Right, so I've got this design. And what I can do, go back to the layers. I want that just below the other one. So I'm just going to drag that down. So that's below the smart object. So with that below there, just select that one again and let's apply the effect. So filter and blur and Gaussian blur. And if you vary that, but you, as it's a smart object and smart filter, you can always come back and change this at any point. So you just blur it like that. Now what you can do, you can go over to a layer, create clipping mask. And you can see now those effects there have been added using just that. And you can select that again and resize it. So you decide, you know what? I want it to be moved. You can move that around. Oops. Use the move tool, that's the key thing. And you can just move that around. That's definitely remember to do that. And again, press return. And also you can apply good old layer and layer style to that. So bevel emboss. So let's just add a little bit more so you can see it a bit clearer. Make it even, just change that around. Click OK. Or maybe add shadow as well. I didn't lay out layer style and drop shadow. And you've got that. Also, what you can do, you can go over here to stroke and you can go, you know what, let's have add a bit of a stroke there as well. And dots design. So you've got this in properties window and properties, that's quite useful as well. So now let's just go back to the layer and background there. Okay, maybe you wouldn't want those dots, but I just wanted to show you, you can add a whole range of different effects using this. And of course, now you can see you've got your background image, which is of course black and white or grayscale. And of course you could maybe apply other effects to it, up to you. You've got this one here and you can still of course go to the Gaussian blur. You think, oh, you know what? I don't like that blur. I don't like that blur. So what I can do, double click on that and I can reduce it down. Maybe make it slightly less. So click OK and you've still got that design. Now again, what you can do, go here to the ellipse. Again, resize that just slightly so you can move it around. Move tool. And again, does, <laughs> quite often it does that. Select that one again. That's what I want to do with a move tool. And you can move that around, resize that, rotate the design, reposition it, and press return, and so on and so on. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Illustrator, Finty Photo, and many, many other applications. Also, please check out the Graphic Extras website. Always adding new tutorials all the time on that website as well, as well as obviously on the Graphic Extras channel. So please subscribe. Any comments, always appreciated. Things I did wrong. Maybe your suggestions about clipping masks may be better ways of doing it. I'm, I'm certain there's many other ways of doing it. I have to say, I don't use clipping masks too many times, but it's a useful effect. Also, a dislike or like, always appreciated. Thank you much.